Oh, welcome back, everyone. For those of you that have come back, hello. We appreciate it. Very kind of you. If you're new and this is your first one, you're late. But you can stay, and that's okay. My name is Mike. Gamer tag is Gospel Junkie. My East Coast uh, Christian brother will introduce himself in a second. We are going through... We are the Backseat Theologians, and we are going through the 1689 Baptist Confession of Faith in Modern English. We are currently on Chapter 20, The Gospel and the Extent of Its Grace, Paragraph 1. We are using the Founders Ministries website, founders.org, if you want to follow along. We are not associated with them. We are just using the, their free resource that they provide. We are not trained theologians or gamers. We are just serving the Lord where, we, where we're at with what we have. Um, yeah, this is the ministry the Lord uh, has given us, and we're going to be faithful in it. Sir, will you please introduce yourself? My name is Jim. I am in the great state of South Carolina. Enjoying this uh, nice fall slash winter weather. And I'm blessed. All right, thank you. <laughs> Do not take our word on anything we say. Test us. Compare it to the word of God to see if what we're saying is true. It's always your best bet with anybody. Test it and see if what we're saying is true. If you think uh, we're, uh, we're off the mark on something, let us know in the comments. We would appreciate it. And, uh, um, Christian and brotherly love. We would appreciate it. All right, Jane, will you please pray sin? Heavenly Father, thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for all your grace and mercies to us. Thank you mostly for salvation, for saving us, uh, allowing us to have a relationship with you, and looking forward to eternity, worshiping you and serving you. We thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ as we celebrate this Christmas season. Thank you for this time to spend studying the Baptist Confession and studying your word. Bless this time. May it glorify you and bless anyone who may listen. We pray these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, here we go. Chapter 20. The gospel and the extent of its grace. Because the covenant of works was broken by sin and was unable to confer life, God was pleased to proclaim the promise of Christ, the seed of the woman, as the means of calling the elect and producing in them faith and repentance. In this promise, the gospel in its substance was revealed and made effectual for the conversion and salvation of sinners. And then, let's see, first sentence goes all the way till there. Okay. Because the covenant of works was broken by sin and was a, unable to confer life, God was pleased to proclaim the promise of Christ, the seed of the woman, as the means of calling the elect and producing in them faith and repentance. Genesis 3.15, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and her offspring, and he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. What does that mean? Bruise your, he shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel. What does that mean? Well, basically it's, it's talking about the Messiah is going to basically crush the word. I've, I've heard it uh, told that the word used for bruise your head is more severe than the word in Hebrew used for bruise his heel. So Christ is going to basically crush Satan, and Satan is going to bruise the Messiah, which the theologians say that's when uh, when Christ was uh, crucified. So he he put a he put a hurting on him, but Christ uh, overcame and crushed Satan by his death and resurrection. Okay. All right, makes sense. you have anything else to add to the, that first sentence? No. Okay. 
uh, second sentence, last one of this paragraph. In this promise, the gospel in its substance was revealed and made effectual for the conversion and salvation of sinners. Revelation 13.8 And all who dwell on earth will worship it, everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world, in the book of life of the Lamb who was slain. You know what's interesting about that one? It doesn't just say everyone whose name was not written in the book of life. It says everyone whose name was has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life in the Lamb was the same. I find that right. extremely interesting. It goes back yeah, to... Yes. Election, right? Yeah. Before... Uh, you know, the uh, the context of, thir you know, Revelation 13.8 talking about the beast... The beast was speaking blasphemy, blaspheming his name and his dwelling, that is, all who dwell in heaven. Also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them, and authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation. And all who dwell on earth will worship it, everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life. Of the Lamb who was slain, if anyone has has an ear let him hear if anyone is to be taken captive to captivity he goes if anyone is to be slain with the sword with the sword he must be slain here is a call for the endurance and the faith of the saints so satan basically has been you know warring against the saints of god since uh since adam basically and uh, he will continue to do it until he Till you know, till he's uh, thrown into the fiery pit, and uh, we had a discussion the other day. You know, just you and I, and off air, but uh, about how you know Satan is bound. Satan doesn't have the power he had before, and he's also, you know, Christ overcame death and hell and his resurrection. So, his death and resurrection. So. But Satan is not ultimately defeated yet. I mean, he's defeated, but he is not, you know, he's not been put where he belongs. He can still wreak havoc and still tempt and still uh, attack Christians. So he is uh, doing, you know, he can't remember exactly where it is, but it might be Revelation where it talks about how he's, uh, he knows the time is short. He knows what his ultimate uh, fate is so he's doing what he can to uh, take as many humans as he can with him he hates God he hates Christ he hates humanity so he enjoys it when we sin he enjoys it he definitely enjoys uh, attacking Christians and he And he will attack anyone who is uh, any non-believer who shows any signs of uh, belief. You know, he will attack them too. So to try to keep them from being from believing the gospel. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, that was paragraph one. Paragraph two. Here we go. This promise of Christ and of salvation through him is revealed in the word of God alone. The works of creation and providence, when assisted only by the light of nature, do not reveal Christ or grace through him, even in a general or obscure way. Much less are those without the revelation of him in the promise of, or gospel enabled to attain saving faith or repentance by seeking these works of God. All right, for sense. Let's see. Perfect. This promise of Christ and of salvation through him is revealed in the word of God alone. 
Romans 1, 17, for it is for in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith, as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. Can you explain that scripture better? Or uh, for for the layman like me or someone who's someone who's uh, new to our our faith? For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith, for faith. So, faith is a gift from God. So, our faith is from God. And our faith that is from God holds us to the end, will keep us. Uh, if we are the elect, we will be held by God and ultimately glorified. There's nothing, none of our, none of our works is going to do anything for us. Uh if you go back a uh, verse, uh, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith for faith. As it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. All right, I just don't like, man, I feel like uh, I'm missing something, not not due to anyone else, just my own understanding of really grasping what that means. I feel like I'm, I'm going to have to do a study. I just feel like I'm missing something. I, not to say I don't, I just feel like there's a nugget there that I'm not uh, putting together and bridging the gap with. That's my own personal thing. Right, okay. Right, right. All right, next sentence, sir. The works of creation and providence, when assisted only by the light of nature, do not reveal Christ or grace through him, even in a general or obscure way. All right, Romans 10:14. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? Verse 15, and how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. Verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Man, this reminds me of a conversation we had several chapters ago about I think, yeah, Romans, right? About um, about uh, uh, nature can reveal at God's attributes, but it can't save you. It can't convict you. Is this along that lines? The works of creation. Yeah, it, as Paul says in Romans 1, you know, just creation itself is evidence of God. It didn't. It didn't just happen. So you will. You, you will not have an excuse on Judgment Day saying, "Oh, I, I, how am I supposed to know there was a God?" You know. But the essence of the gospel is not revealed in nature. That is only. That can only be revealed in the Word of God, which we call the Bible. Nature is not going to explain that you're a sinner. And you need to be saved, and how to be saved. So that's what we need the word. So we need the word. We need the written word. We need the word preached. You know. So without hearing the word, you cannot be saved. Yep, that's it. That last part of the sentence. It says, even in a general or obscure way, I almost get the impression it 
it's saying that even even by accident, like you won't just trip into salvation or you know, you won't fall down a really beautiful hill and be like, Oh, the Lord, um, convict me. That's what that's the impression I get. What's the impression you get? What's your uh, perspective? Well, if if you look, you know, man is inherently religious, right? You go anywhere that's that doesn't has never had the gospel. They're going to have they're going to be praying, they're going to be sacrificing. They're going to be, you know, worshiping. Usually it's a creature, right? It's a tree or it's the sun or the moon or the the river, or the you know, every look at Egypt back in the Old Testament. Every even back then, every nation had its gods. The Greeks had their gods. The Romans had their gods. So we are religious. Uh, we are religious animals, you could say. We're religious. So, but we don't. Ha- but without the gospel, without the the word of God, you don't have the truth. So you're just worshiping whatever. And then you know the people are in fear. You know uh, they worship the sun because without the sun, you know they're gonna die. They worship the, you know, uh, the rain, the cra- the clouds, the rivers, because they need the water. You know, they start they start worshiping the cre- the creature rather than the creator, as Paul says. So we're going to worship something, and you know, whether it's through fear, you know, if there's a drought, we're going to start worshiping. You know, we're going to start praying to, you know, the the the, the rain god for for water or whatever. So, we're, but as human beings, we're not going to have if we don't have the truth. We're just going to start making stuff up, hmm. you know, just to have something to worship. You still see it today, even even in our scientific age. You still see people that uh, basically worship nature. All right. Yeah. True. All right. Thank you, sir. Next and last sentence, uh, paragraph two. Much less are those without the revelation of him in the promise or gospel enabled to attain saving faith or repentance by seeing these works of God. Proverbs twenty nine eighteen, where there is no prophetic vision, the peace, the people cast off restraint. But blessed is he who keeps the law. Isaiah 25, 7, and he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. Isaiah 62 and 3, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth and thick darkness the peoples, but the Lord will arise upon you and his glory will be seen upon you and nations shall come to your light. And kings to the brightness of your rising. The floor is yours on this one, sir. Well, if you go to Isaiah, uh, you know basically that 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 covering it's talking about is basically a blindness. If you go back to verse uh, six, on this mountain the Lord of hosts will make. For all peoples, a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all people. So there's going to be a day when, uh, you know, after the second coming of Christ, when uh, all that blindness will be taken away. and Everyone will know God. Uh, if you go to verse 8, he will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. And the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. Verse 9, it will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord we have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab will, shall be trampled down in his place, as straw is trampled down in a dunghill. We could go on and on, but it's basically the glorious day of the Lord. The you know it, 
Revelation talks about uh, the wicked in the day of the Lord will will pray that the mountains will fall on them to cover them from the wrath of God. But the righteous, the believers, will welcome God's return. So, what a day that will be. Yes, sir. Amen. All right, so we are actually running running fast today. Uh, paragraph three is a long read, but only a few scriptures. So how do we attack this? Read the paragraph, and you just want to get into the scriptures part of it? Or we can just say this was a shorter podcast. Uh, let's let's uh let's at least go over it. Okay. Paragraph three. The gospel has been revealed to sinners in various times and in different places, along with the promises and precepts describing the obedience it requires. The particular nations and individuals who are granted this revelation are chosen solely according to the sovereign will and good pleasure of God. This choice does not depend on any promise to those who demonstrate good stewardship of their natural abilities based on a common light received apart from the gospel. No one has ever done this, nor can anyone do so. Therefore, in every age, the preaching of the gospel to individuals and nations has been granted in widely varying degrees of expansion and contraction, according to the counsel of the will of God. You want me to just go through the verses real quick? Yeah. Psalm 147.20, He has not dealt thus with any other nation. They do not know his rules. Praise the Lord. Acts 16.7, And when they had come up to Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. Now, this is a long one. Romans 1, 18 through 32 I'm going to go New King James. That's my favorite. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth and unrighteousness, because what may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but became futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professing to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and birds, and four-footed animals, and creeping things. Therefore God gave them up to uncleanness, in the lusts of their hearts, to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie and worshipped and served the Creator rather than the creature who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. Oui. It's a mouthful. Ah, thank you. It's basically so, the state of man outside of the mercy, uh, basically the uh, electing grace of God. You know that one one part of that that sticks out to me is the one that it, toward the end it says uh 
but also give hearty approval to those who practice them. I just look, you know, it's, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's tough to see loved ones who, who co-sign or I wouldn't, you know, say condone, but who, like the Bible says, gives approval to those, to all those, those actions. Uh, you know, I can only sp- ex- uh, speak for my, uh, my bubble. But it's just, it's tough to see um, family members and friends that approve of these things and will even fight for for these things to to happen. Oh yeah, yeah. You can you can see it. <clears throat> you see it nowadays. You know, uh, things always start out with, you know sinful behaviors just let me do my own thing and then it's like just leave me alone and then it's like by the end they want your approval and they want you punished if you don't approve of what they do right so it goes from just leave me alone don't pick on me to you need to support me approve what I do or you know you're the one that's wrong and we're going to try to punish you somehow (laughs) that's it yeah, that's just human. That's human beings. Yeah, the the live and let live is not good enough for them. You need to uh, outwardly show that you approve of this thing in some physical way. Uh, you know, hang a flag or a bumper sticker. But you need to not. It is not good enough to say let and live and let live. It's not. That's not good enough. You have to show in some way that you approve of this. And nothing else is going is acceptable. Not you can't just you have you have to show that you approve. You have to, uh, you, you know, your Facebook profile in some way, shape, or form has to show it. You know, live and let live is not good enough. And something is wrong with you if you don't participate too. Right. If you don't join in, there's something wrong with you. But, you know, it's just funny how <clears throat> each one of these they kind of almost paragraphs. You know. For the wrath of God, 18, is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness, who suppressed it against men, of men who suppressed the truth and unrighteousness. And then you go down to 24, therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness. Then you go, for this reason, God gave them up to vile passions. And then you go to 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind. So it just keeps going, boom, boom. <laughs> it's a, okay. You know, you get you want to get hard. I'll just make you, you can get even harder and harder, and until you're so hard against the things of God that you'll do just about anything. And then the very end, there, you know, those who practice such things are deserving of death. Not only do the same, but also approve of those who practice them. So, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Unfortunately, that is the state of man. Uh, after the fall, we are we are corrupted, and uh, we are not as bad as we could be. Yeah. God even restrains us from being as as uh, evil as we could be. That's the grace of that's what they call common grace. But there's a difference between common grace and saving grace, and that's what we're that's what we're talking about. I don't know how far you want to get into. If we're out of time or not, but yeah, only got a minute. Uh, left. Anyway, if if you, if you want to try to finish this, um, you know, Paul that that acts that that passage in Acts, you know, Paul was going to go one way. He felt he should go one way to preach, and God sent him another way. So basically, it's it's supporting that part where God picks individuals and nations. He had God go. He had Paul go and preach the gospel to these people, but he did. He stopped him from going to preach to that people. That was God's. That was God's uh, choice, you know. God right. said, "I want you to go that way." So it just goes back to how God is in control of of where the gospel goes, who hears the gospel, who responds to the gospel. All right. Thank you. 
Uh, any closing uh, statements or remarks? I do want to go to the, go over this paragraph no, we'll finish, tomorrow, though, more in depth. Yeah, we'll we'll finish off. Yeah, we'll finish off uh, uh, next time. Okay, cool. I will end this in prayer, though, then, sir. I will end this in prayer. If you will like it. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Lord, we come humbled before you in prayer. You are mighty king, Lord Jesus, and we uh, we are eternally grateful for that, Lord Jesus. Like Jim said earlier, that you chose us uh, out of the secret counsel of your will. Uh, I pray and ask that you bless whomever is hearing this, that they may be edified, not because it's us, but because we are preaching your word, Lord Jesus. I don't know if preaching is the right word, but we are getting the word out there and uh, uh, using using your Bible to do so, Lord Jesus. So I ask that you continue to bless Jim and I so that we may uh, continue to do this, Lord Jesus, while the time is while the time is now, Lord Jesus. Yeah, we as Christians need to need to honor the time with uh, the spreading of your word and your gospel, Lord Jesus. And it's gospel because it is good news, Lord Jesus, that you saved us yet while we were in our mother's room, womb. Uh, we thank you and praise you. Please uh, continue to bless us with wisdom and conveying your word, Lord Jesus, and bless those who are hearing this, that they may come to know you, Lord, as Savior. In your name we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. And as always, Ephesians 5, 15, and 16. And this will be the NASB. Therefore, be careful how you walk, not as unwise men, but as wise, making the most of your time, because the days are evil. Hilo Kappa. Make a left right there, and you're home free. I've kind of learned if you follow the railroad tracks, you're never going to get stuck in the water. It's almost, almost always going to take you where you're close enough. It's about the easiest one there is. I care about that, I got a million of those things. Are you trying to get your uh, thing back up again? No, that's all good. No, no, no. Uh, next. Let's search, search the area for plates. Got Jack in here. Dead wire, sir. Looks sure works well on. Could you guys follow me, please? please? Oh, why'd I throw that? Orale. I didn't even know I had that equipped. What in the world? I'll get the contract. Oh, it's 400 meters away. Oh, yeah. Man, I should have got my car. I didn't know it was that far. Should have got my car. I call way. All right, full armor. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in South Carolina. I'm not gonna do the uh I'm not gonna do the uh get the gun out of the mystery box this round, I'll do it next round with Phillips with us. I'll just get kills and try to get at least one dead wire on a big boy. 
I sure get on everybody else though, I tell you. Get them all day. In the box, in the box, what did I get? Nothing. Not a darn thing. Oh yeah, here we go. Buy station. <laughs> Take that. That buy station was there. <sighs> I got eleven thousand dollars. Nothing to do with it. Excuse me, zombies. Can you uh, donate yourself so I can get my filthy upgrade? Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Oh no. There's no way I couldn't run with that little tree. Full of power. Appreciate the donation of your undead lives. I just hit the mimic with my car and it's mad. Let me see if I can uh, freeze him. Woohoo! Ah, you missed it in the car. I don't know if you I froze it. Look at you frozen. I didn't stun him. Did he freeze? I don't know. Oh, let me check. He no, he, he didn't freeze. Come on. <sighs> I've got your luck now. All I had in there, all I had in there for me was two of those green things. Green wrenches. I got your luck. Huh, how do you freeze them? Freeze five mimic mimics with frost blast field upgrade. Hmm, that's interesting. But I wanted to exactly that you freeze them. to look it up. rifle kills got a raid safe weapon stash
Got the outside cover. Try to keep him from getting in. Oh, there's one. Where'd you come from, dude? He's like, I'm the, I'm the undead. Where do you think I came from? It's all good. Don't don't worry about me, Jim. We'll, we'll, it'll come. I hear a doggy, a little doggy. A dog or a horse? Doing the save, no. He's almost dead. He's chasing me. If I shoot him a few more times, he's gonna die. Can you bring him up here? I'll try. Uh. Okay, I'm running into the house. He's chasing me. Yeah, he, he was definitely frozen. Definitely frozen. Thank you, sir. And a cryo thing, you need it? I got several of them. Alright, the I reward's up work. here. The reward, the reward! Tombstone, <sighs> I need that. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I have got nothing yeah. but dead shot daiquiris. That's it. I kid you not. I have... I have two of them in my rucksack. There's one in there, and I had to drop one to make room for something else. I've got wow. nothing but dead shot daiquiris. That's it. Ah, I can't take it. I Did guess you get credit for that? Oh, yeah, let me check. You had to. Yeah, man. I got it. Yay. Well, that's probably the sign is getting that uh, cryo freeze thing, right? All right, let's uh, let's get let's get Philip in here. There's a there's a exfil right there. Philip is patiently waiting. That doesn't sound like Philip. Oh, he's. He must be thinking of someone else. He said no. He's cranky now. He See? is not patiently waiting. See? Told you. He's impatient. Impatiently waiting. See what's wrong with you guys? Just leave me sitting here. Alright, it's been called in too. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, that's how you just went down. Uh!
Mm -hmm. Where'd you come from, dude? We need armed zombie kills, but we can't run it again. I got a monkey bomb when we're ready. We're ready, let's go. Monkey bomb, monkey bomb away. I got five colas. One level. All oh, right, yeah, twenty seven, twenty seven. Another perk. levels so far keep going five six seven levels on my gun right I had that X, I had that XP going okay it's funny he gave me credit for weapon kills from the mystery box and I never even did it that's funny Check my weeklies. Yeah, I can stop using the battle rifle or the marksman. No, I'm still doing the marksman. Okay. Getting there. Oh, no, it didn't give me credit for... Okay, I already had 70. It did not. Okay. Okay, got to use a marksman one more round. Okay, 
City Magazine. Do you need a cryo freeze mic? No, sir. Can somebody bring in a dead wire? So Mike, you're on the game. Philip's on Discord. Or you're in the game now, right, Philip? Can you hear Philip, Mike? No. I can bring in a dead wire. I have it equipped. Okay. Mike has one. That's okay. Don't waste it if you don't need it. I guess I'm ready then. Pretty as I live for me. What are you working on, uh, Philip? Okay, so you have to uh, put a circuit board in it and do what kill zombies. Okay. Philip needs to activate turrets, so if you see any circuit boards, pick them up. Mike's working on freezing elite zombies. I'm working on dead wire i'm working on stunning elite zombies i guess we could do them both at the same time stun and freeze I usually run across a couple every round. I don't normally pick them up. We got new neighbors across the street, Philip. My old neighbors moved out. Yeah. Mike. Mike, can I get your dead wire? Thank you, sir. My weekly, I need to pack a punch this as fast as I can. Well, this one has all the plates. All right.
Hey Mike, you got a disciple behind you. I'll leave him alone right now. No, go for it. I don't need a disciple. Plus, Philip wasn't going to leave it alone, so. Uh, I thought you needed elite zombies. Nope. Are you done with that? Negative. I do not need elite zombies. Oh, what are you doing now? Do you still need the um, dead wire? Yeah. I got, the, I got the dead wire from you. I just need to delete zombies. You didn't get a dead wire from me. Do you need the one I have? Yeah, I picked it up. You Not for me. Somebody, no, I didn't. Oh, must have been, must have been Philip then. Oh. Uh. Okay, I'm sorry. I saw it on the ground. I didn't know who left it there. Um, what are you working on, Mike? I don't know. Philip wants to do the ether nest next door, so he'll catch up with us. Oh, I hit the wrong button, Mike. Ah! I was trying to hit map, and I hit the thing. I gotta get inside, I'm getting destroyed. Get played up.
Oh. There you go. That chopper's almost down. He down. GG. Mercs, Mercs. Little got kicked. Get high up to get the UAV. There was a guy on top of the stronghold, but I don't know where he went. Revive. <laughs> yeah, somebody's still shooting. Sucker's hiding. He's on the roof talking to himself. Okay. <laughs> there he is. No, he wasn't talking to himself. There's another one. There's a ninja. Oh man, where was he? He came out of the building. Okay, he's dead. Nope, I got hit again. Sniper. Oh, he's up there. Is that him? No. Huh. Oh. Oh, man. Philip lost all his stuff. He's having a hard time getting back in. Well. Like try it again. I wonder what happened. Back in, but he lost all his stuff.
I'm dead upstairs. We got you, we got you. Is there, where's the last one at? Oh, I guess mash just failed. I don't see a dust. There, I got it. Two, two mimics froze, cool. How much money? Nine. Taking this boat. Okay. This boaty boaty boat. Sound is horrible in this. <laughs> Way better on uh, regular DMZ. Yeah.
all the way to our right. Coming to get you. Locate the mangler and kill it. My kind of contract. Locate the mangler and kill it. Locate the mangler and kill it. I located the mangler and killed it. Go ahead and hit the pack a punch, I'll get this contract. Oh, where did the electricity bolt come from? Oh, it looks like Philip got back in, huh? Yeah, I don't know if he's waiting or not. Yeah, I said he was waiting. I think I'll let you guys play though. This <laughs> headset is hurting my head. It's the only one that works with my PlayStation. What is this? A mimic? All right. Let's try and freeze it. Here, Mimic, Mimic, Mimic. Gospel Junkies here. Where is it? There you are. Did I get credit for it? Nope. Dang it. <sighs> That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Freeze five mimics with Phil. Just don't make no sense, man. This game doesn't make a lot of sense. It's like, sorry, we can't let you have it. Oh, 
Oh, another mimic, but I don't have my field upgrade. Let's see, zombies that are... More zombies, please. Donate to the cause, thank you. Gospel Junkie needs kills. Boom, field upgrade. Oh, what happened? Someone did it already. He just died himself? There's nobody even over here. He just died all by himself. Wow. I've seen that before where it's like, I don't see anyone around. How could he die? He just self-combusted. Wow. Oh boy. Wow, that's cool. That was cool. <laughs> oh, mercenaries. Ooh, we are a nasty bunch. Right where my car is. Come on, you guys, follow me so I can uh, get some frosty kills. Come on, zombies, follow me. Follow me, here I am. I need frosty kills. Come on, everybody. If you'll be so kind. How many did I get? Wow, one more, nice. And then all I need are the mimics that it doesn't want to give me. Whoa, someone just took a shot at me? Never heard a fly in my life. Frostbass available, nice. Trying to find a spy station. Heavy balloon. I'm telling you, man, you gotta level up this uh, Lockwood 680. Seeing one shot zombies in the yellow so far. Literally one shot.
It's one shotty and freaking uh, armored zombies in tier two. Oh, what I hit? Yeah, oh, it's a mangler. Boo. I'm in the yellow zone and it gives me the reward is a two plate vest. Kiali. My RNG. Excuse me, gentlemen, can you gather around me? I need another uh, frost kill. I need another uh, chill kill. If you guys would gather around me, please. You too, please, sir. You too. Thank you. So I just need my mi my mimics. Mangler. Man, they hit hard though. time <laughs> we were in the red oh man I'm dead. wow they're all over me there you go oh no Oh, I'm down too. I'm down for the third time. I'm trying to set up my monkey bomb and they keep killing me before I can get her on the ground. Wow.
get some. Get some. Here I come, sir. Let me get some plates. Oh, I'm all out of plates, but I got three. Okay, here we go. Oh, you good thing you're at the water's edge. Yeah, I crawled down there after that. I couldn't believe that. I thought they were all gone, so I'm trying to set a lucky thing down, and they keep hitting me from behind. I couldn't even get it, set it on the ground. Nice. So I got no plates. Yeah, I only have the three I'm wearing. I'm gonna mark it an X fill. Mercenary, mercenary, oh. That's the closest X fill. Yeah, I'm down again. Oh, really? Got about eight of them running here. I'm trying to find plates. <laughs> okay, Plus I, I got hit by a I got hit by a mercenary. He was hiding in here. Right, I'm going for an exile after this, so. You do what you want. Okay. I'm just trying to get some plates so I can make it.
Hello, 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 hello. Oh.